supposed to be a hunting trip with his kids ended with this war veteran being detained in Mexico. Now the Texas City man may have to pay a very hefty fine to get out. Robert Arnold spoke with his mother. He's joining us live now from the Mexican consulate in southwest Houston. Robert. Jeremy Slaughter served his country as a Marine for 18 years. He was even awarded the Bronze Star. Last year, Slaughter retired from the Marines and was trying to make up for lost time with his son and daughter. Unfortunately, on his way to a hunting trip with his children, he got lost, wound up crossing into Mexico, and was detained because he had rifles and ammunition in his car. I was beside myself. I was, you know, I waited for those kind of calls when he was in the military. Not to go deer hunting. Beverly McKinney is waiting for a phone call. When they're in another country, it's hard to figure out who to call and where to start and what to ask for. McKinney's 38 year old son, a decorated combat veteran, is being detained by Mexican authorities. Jeremy Slaughter was taking his 14 year old son and 9 year old daughter to a deer lease in Rock Springs, Texas. Well, he's been away for so long, he's trying to catch up on that dad stuff. And that's what this trip was for Thanksgiving weekend. Slaughter had never been to this lease, got lost on the way, and wound up on the road to Ciudad Acuna, Mexico. He knew they were lost. And when he seen the sign that said no guns, mm -hmm. you know, weapons, he knew that he would have gone too far. Even though Slaughter asked to turn around and go back to the U.S., Mexico has strict no guns laws. Since he had three rifles and several dozen rounds of ammunition in the car, Slaughter and his children were detained. McKinney says attorneys in Mexico have told her her son could possibly avoid prison if he pays a $25,000 fine, but even that's not a guarantee. If he stays there and he's there in the morning, they're taking him to prison. Late tonight, Mexican officials did allow the children's grandfather to go into Mexico and escort the children back into the United States. They are now on their way back to the Houston area. Reporting live from near downtown, Robert Arnold, KBRC, Channel 2 News.